Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign where we're trying to beat the game with only sparks and psionically active characters. It is time to counter another nasty nasty dark event, we want to make sure that Vigilance doesn't come through. So we need to neutralize an Advent uh, Field Commander, Heavy Max, Elite Purifiers, Andromedans, Elite Shield Bearer, that's a lot to chew through. So the 13 enemies plus the Field Command I'm totally expecting. Now this is going to be a rather difficult mission. For us it will be important to spot out the Commander relatively soon and then just go on and destroy him to the best of our abilities. Psionically characters though are unfortunately unavailable. So instead of that, let's get XQS 6 and True Rebel so that we have at least a bonded pair here. Sounds like a plan. Let's make weapons available and let's make utility items available because I really don't uh, like the odds of going in with three rookies. Prototype plasma rifle, yes please. Mimic beacon, yes please. Good. As for true rebel, where's my superior repeater? Yep, there it is. Blue screen round, mimic beacon. We got a kind of standard equipment now as we're entering these later stages in the game. We got two injured mechs, but that's not a problem because I'm going to show you just how to overcome that. Specifically in the neutralize the field commander mission, we have all the time in the world at the beginning before we are getting discovered. And thanks to our healing capabilities, we should be fine. <laughs> good, we have landed, guys. I am in a good mood today. Let us take the high ground here and let's get this party started. Got Vector, got Glaive. I would actually like to use Glaive to really scout out and take a good look at what we're dealing with. The answer is a nothing. Dagger takes a normal move as well and all of our rookies can move up. The reason why I leave two of our mechs a bit further behind is because we're going to use their healing capabilities right away. This is how I would also normally do it in a scenario where you would have a timer. Just getting them topped off. If it is one or two points of damage, probably not a big deal. If you have four points of damage, the, the only reason why I'm topping them off is not because I'm terribly afraid of them dying. It's, they still have plenty of armor and hit points left over. That's not the point. Point is more so the um, amount of time that they will need to be repaired is determined based on the maximum damage that they have taken. And the maximum damage that they have taken is kind of the lowest that their hit points have ever gotten. And if you top them off, this mech here can take four points of damage without it requiring to take any more resting time. Hope that makes sense as an explanation. Good. We're moving up. I want to take the high ground here. That's my thought process. The sparks can nicely nicely move into it without causing any issues pretty sure that within the train we're gonna go and find even more enemies we already saw that there is an archon intersected pretty beefy pack one that we don't want to trigger immediately because the archon has so many hit points that it'll, it'll probably take us a round to just deal with it and that's one less round to deal with the commander well now we no longer have an option because now we have already triggered the first pick that can happen it's not the end of the world it absolutely is not now we've triggered two packs which yet again is still not the very end of the world What we want to do in these cases is 
use a modest amount of um, of violence to get rid of them and modest means we only want to take a few of our cooldowns number one wait a second that is a hundred percent shot number one we're going to take a shot because the reason why I'm prioritizing taking a shot and then using the explosive is Glaive is the only one who does not have the ability that its um, shots will not reduce the second and third time that they are taken which means since he is overdriving at this point we of course want to make sure that he takes the highest chance to hit first then we're exploding everything and Bam, there you go. Perfect. That already clar uh, clarified uh, clarified how to deal with the max. How about we're moving to here? Very nice to hit, I like it. We do have a superior repeater. I was hoping that we could find the um, the Archon and then hit it with a superior repeater. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We got a normal stock, but not an advanced stock. Well, too bad in that those cases were taking a bit of room in between just to not make it too obvious that we could be bombarded and I was hoping for the purifier to explode as, as part of the explosion also kill the mech didn't happen it is what it is good we're moving up and I said moderate utilization <laughs> I said moderate utilization of cooldowns, not using them all at the beginning. That Huntress ability is just super strong. Holy cow. Okay. Overwatch. Uh, overdrive, sorry. Might have been a bit of a contradiction compared to what I said beforehand. There we go. That's one down. And before we do anything else, let's kill the general. That's always my personal main target because afterwards he's running away. And you're never going to really catch up with him. Okay, so how about we're moving to here? Just kill the Mac be done with it it's probably the right uh, choice that way we still have cooldowns left over killing the mac there we go let's advance and we're We're utilizing we know that that this is the end of the map so I'm trying to put off uh, put a carrot in here which does not trigger yet another pack okay let's hope that the archon moves first yes it does and it nicely positions positions itself right where we want it for some reason misses the mimic beacon ok 
Okay, cool. Good. Who has the big fat repeaters? I think we got an advanced repeater here. Let's start with our obvious choices up here. Does this end the turn? Yes, it does. The question nonetheless is, is it worth using this ability? Because it deals more damage than we normally would deal with our gun. I think for now the answer is probably no. I really would like to get rid of the Archon first and save as many cooldowns as possible. Luckily the Archon, as always, has the ability to dodge. Dodge is an absolutely overpowered mechanic that I frequently abuse on the Templars. Of course I hate it when the enemies have it. Seventy-five percent, good enough. Get it together. Didn't work for us. Trying to see how many uh, how many cooldowns we need to draw. XQ six tries it again. Seventy-five percent. Decent chance. I like it. True rebel. Oh wow, 50-50, no, we're not going to do that. Let's try to hit the sector. Not even that was successful. So we're keeping a Mimic Beacon in reserve. The question of the day is, do I want to use Overdrive here? That's 100%, that's 100%. Hmm, good question. You know, if we need to use a Mimic Beacon, we don't need to overdo it. Might as well just kill this guy here. Use our second Mimic Beacon. And then call it a day. Next turn, we're going to kill them. Unfortunately, the... Archon took way more hits than I would have expected. The Mimic Beacon is not fully needed. Those two cannot really do that much against us. Nonetheless, I felt since we have three Mimic Beacons, might as well use them. Good, let's start reloading. Yes, please. Get this guy down. I don't want to forfeit the loot. An advanced scope is good. It is helpful for us going forward. Good. There is no need to be afraid of standing in the open because we either mimic beak in this or we're going to kill them. There is no kind of middle ground here. Action, economy, efficiency, reload and then take the shot. I'm down to one hit point if I'm recalling correctly. Good. And we got a stock here. Which is a 100% kill. So moving up, taking the shot, and even if we miss, that would have been the good old 100% um, chance to kill it. 
Stocks on Rookies. Hashtag makes sense. Just in time. Advent begins to move in. <clears throat> and luckily for us, we have not used all of our cooldowns because an Andromedon pack is the perfect opportunity to use the remaining cooldowns. I would like to get rid of all of your cover, please. So we're taking one move, which is a bit wasteful, but we did not have any great line of sight. This here is much, much better. Perfect. Now that uh, that's being taken care of. Let's first of all act with the rookies. Moving up. Oh wait, we got uh, blue screen rounds. So let's not first of all act up with the rookies. Let's first of all make sure that we kill these dudes here. Andromedon. Takes a nice hit, fully shredded, and is now down to four hit points. True Rebel okay. takes a high ground. And let's maximize our chances of killing those guys. Toxic with the blue screen rounds. Misses his important shot. That's always fun. Good, we can kill this guy. Okay, so I don't want to use a Mimic Beacon. I don't think that it is needed. Good, that's a good enough chance to hit the Andromedon. And there's the nice execution, perfect. That's going to be another kill, plus sufficient damage for the shield bearer to probably move away. If not, we got a couple of overwatches ready and waiting for him. Should have moved away. All right, so let's take our time. There's uh, no one who forces us to move fast. I like the idea of high ground. I like the idea of cover and moving up even a bit more. Let's reload. Everybody has reloaded. Okay, slowly but surely, I think there is probably one 
Otherwise. Maybe two more packs left over. Going to use the concept of a fire line. Just out of curiosity, we got overdrive, overdrive, and three more rounds for another overdrive. Just might as well, uh, might as well wait the three the more rounds Moving for out. the other overdrive. To be honest. Understood. Moving out. Oh. Good. We can wait a bit longer until all of them have their overdrive. There's one more pack over there. Fair enough. Good, we're just overwatching. I'll get one more turn until we got overdrive. On non-timed missions, patience is key. One more turn, and then everybody has overdrive. There's absolutely no disadvantage of getting those, and if they were to run into us, it would be stupid enough to do that. then we could easily capitalize on it and kill them with our overwatch trap. Well, look at that. We do not have any more explosives left over, but that's fine. Moving into full cover. And let's try to kill one of them. That was the worst possible outcome. Now we got a cloned codex running around here. Can't let that happen, of course. Okay, so how about starting the overdrive and we're slowly but surely are going to wiggle them down. Before we're moving, I would always caution us if it is really necessary. In some cases it is. Can move over here. And we can draw a second overdrive, which by the way is exactly the cooldown that we had, had been waiting for. I don't want to use all of the overdrives in one turn, if I can help it. There's the hit. Clone moves in in a, yeah, very, distant location I apologize for your untimely death ammunition nearing depletion good we're not uh, drawing the over uh, overwatch here Instead, we are moving in and hopefully we can kill... Oh. Well, too bad. I thought we could kill this guy. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Good. We're using our last Mimic Beacon. Mainly because I don't want another psionic bomb here to even motivate them uh, to uh, to unload our weapons. I don't think that there is another large pack waiting for us. On the move. It's probably the last pack. That was uh, that had been in this mission. Good. 
focus uh, coatings down. Moving up just to get that nice little shot. Toxic should be able to cap. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Super high damage. And we're finishing up with a mech. That is that. Good job. Well done. There we go. We got zero uh, promotions. That's unfortunate. Specifically, if you have 110 kills and you still do not get promoted, something is clearly not going well. Let me double check something. <clears throat> Weapon upgrades. We got advanced. Ex okay, I see, I see. Superior stock and advanced magazine. As much as I like that whole superior stock thing, how about we're just taking a new fresh cannon? That means the old cannon is not going away. And we're giving it an advanced scope and we're giving it an advanced expanded magazine. Very nice. So besides Glaive is not the one who can hit optimally, so might as well really uh, give him the superior stock or the superior um, hair trigger. Here we got expanded magazine and advanced scope. This mech here has the is a fire support mech. It has the ability to not have any penalties on overdrive. So now it's just a question: Do we want to have a superior stock, or do we feel that superior hair trigger and scope is better? Um, this here has a slightly expanded magazine and since the mech is going to miss often due to the aim penalty i'll just go with the superior stock at this point we don't need any more alien alloys but what we would need is intel so let's get that Got a chrysalid autopsy. Nice little hell weave, uh, hell weave vest. And we can finish the plasma lance in record time. Six days. It's just incredibly fast. We got eight scientists and all of the laboratory bonus plus the continent bonus. That's why we're just speeding through the research like no man's business. Wow, good. Not good that uh, Roby took a wound. Hopefully it's not too long, but we finally got the stronghold. And with that, we also increased our um, our faction status. Metal Fortitude is fantastic. It's just such a great resistance order. Um, we definitely would want to take that one. Good, we got Recruit Templars right here. And I would be stupid not to do that. Raul is going to accompany us. There is not even a downside to it. Perfect. So that's great. Just before we go, 16 days. And this will allow us to basically... Um, hunt down the chosen but before we do that like i said i wanted to have a low level a low level um templar because with that i hope we can finally see some cool gameplay where we do ha uh, where we're having like a templar couple of psyops and also some sparks in there so in terms of 
being wounded. 22 days, that sucks. Might need to build the infirmary soon because this is starting to get annoying. Yeah, can't really take any engineer off of any other project. And our first spark is repaired. Redman continues getting all of the nice abilities. I like Solace. It's a group ability that helps. And that's the advanced version of our flamethrower. It's the worst of the bigger weapons, but still good. It deals a lot of damage. And we got Quick Feet, who finally catches up with training as well. And the first, the first uh, new ability that he learns is Domination, which is hilarious. Just imagine the first thing that you learn is probably the most potent skill overall. Renman on the other side now has risen to the ranks of a mystic. Uh, that's, if I'm not mistaken, comparable to a major. So that's great. In terms of personal combat sims here, let's give him advanced conditioning. And wow, why does he have such a nasty looking outfit? Let's maybe give him a proper torso and also some proper arms. Very good. So that's our next psionic character. Cool. That worked out well. Strategic resource located. I thought we get double the intel reward. Six days for 40 intel. That is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie, it is disappointingly bad. We're instead going to just scan for normal intel. Unlike and make more contact with other regions. Oh. Well, that is bad. Undying loyalty. I didn't want to play with it, and now we're going to face it regardless. Gotta hate it. Uh, there is a chance for all of the Advents who are now falling to come back as zombies. Needless to say that these uh, Psy zombies are super strong. Good. Advanced personal combat sims. Yes, please. Well, wait a second. Do we really need it? We might. We might. We're not in a hurry with the research. Might as well take a good breakthrough with us. And reutilizing them isn't bad. Cool. Good. That brings us to our next mission, which finally yields us some intel and an engineer. That's exactly what we need. The game is so good to us. It it realizes we need an engineer to continue excavating because we have positioned all of the other engineers inside uh, many of the locations. So engineer it is 77, um, Intel it is, that is, both of that is good. I like it. And we have an unknown enemy, which only lets me to suspect that we're going to see our first sector port in the next mission let's take an overall look where we stand from an equipment slash training perspective we will be able to have renman uh, with us finally we're hopefully going to be able to take quick feed with us we do not yet have the extra templar that i was talking about and roby is recovering as well so yeah it's going to uh, gonna be one rookie uh, three sparks and two psi operatives again but it's going to be a fun mission, guys, and I hope that we will 
get that last engineer to finally build out all of uh, these items just out of uh, just for my curiosity yeah the engineer simply increased the stats of the turrets you still have four turrets okay cool i uh, i have spoken mistakenly and thought that the engineer enables the other two turrets but no the upgrade automatically does that and uh, that's the end of today's episode if you liked it please leave a like and a comment below and i'm up uh, to go to my next appointment bye bye